it's actually changed my vibration. It's made my doubts a lot less loud. Robotic affirmations. Now this video is coming to you from someone who was extremely skeptical of this process. And in fact, I would say that I actually thought it was slightly crazy before I started trying it for myself and seeing the results of it because they are fascinating. And I want to share with you what robotic affirmations are, how I go about it, if you tend to feel guilty about doing robotic affirmations, because I know some people have reached out and said, but like, I feel like I'm not trusting God's plan for me. I'm going to share with you how I don't believe that and why I don't believe that. Before we get into today's video, hi, my name is Atana. Welcome to the channel. On this channel, we learn to love ourselves unconditionally and we manifest our dream reality. So if that's something you're interested in, you should consider subscribing. So how did I go from being totally skeptical from robotic affirmations to now I wash the dishes, I'm affirming. I'm on the treadmill, I'm affirming. I'm journaling at night, <laughs> I'm affirming. I'm journaling in the morning, I'm affirming. I'm literally affirming all day, every day. <laughs> I'm like, I'm affirming all day, every day. So what is robotic affirmations? It is literally about saturating your mind. It is about confirming and affirming over and over and over and over again. Some people love to do it for spurts at a time, like five to 10 minutes. Then I see some people who do it for like 16 hours. I, I, I don't know if I'll ever get there, but <laughs> it works for them. Um, it works for them. There's actually um, a really famous story of this man, I forget his name and I'm totally impatient about uh, researching right now, but I'll put it right here, who um, Neville Goddard talks about a lot where he's like, he affirmed for 16 hours in a row, I believe it was 16 hours in a row, that he is a millionaire and he became a millionaire. So there's a lot of evidence, people who use robotic affirmations to allow them to transform their reality, to manifest everything that they want. So the first thing I feel like we gotta address is that if you don't believe that robotic affirmations are going to work for you, they won't work for you. We talked about this in a previous video where we asked, well, what's the best manifestation method? Um, and I'll link that video for you below. But in a nutshell, the best manifestation method for you is the one where you not only collect evidence of other people for them, for working for them, but you collect evidence for yourself. Like you have to believe or at least give things an opportunity and a chance to allow them to come to fruition for it to actually work for you. So there's a moment where I was seeing so much evidence on YouTube of people robotically affirming and manifesting everything that they desired that I decided to take a look at it all over again. I'm like, well, why do I believe it's crazy? And I feel like part of it comes from this programming that I had very early on before I even became very spiritual, before I entered the world of conscious manifesting where people People kept saying affirmations don't work, affirmations don't work, affirmations don't work. And I bought into that. I realized I unconsciously bought into that program. So I sat down and I was like, well, is this program serving me? Like, am I avoiding robotic affirmations as a mechanism to protect myself? And I wasn't so sure anymore because I also was like, well, where can I look back and see that this isn't true? I had a remembrance of when I was doing my Reiki training. So it was a three month training and there was one week in particular that completely changed my life. And in that week, my Reiki master told us to mind our thoughts every hour on the hour for the whole week. So imagine for an entire week, every hour that you're awake, you have like an alarm that goes off and you are consciously becoming aware of what you're thinking. And I remember once really like, it, it just hit me. I was at the grocery store buying my lunch. I was working at the office at the time and I had all these random negative thoughts, like totally random. Like I wasn't even conscious of what I was thinking as I was waiting and my alarm went off and I'm like, whoa, what am I thinking about? Why am I thinking about this? It's also about this time that I became attuned to angel numbers. And I remember at that point, I was seeing 11, 11 everywhere. And for me at that point, 11, 11 was like, whatever you're thinking about in the moment is what you are declaring you want to manifest. So I was like, all right, every day, every time I see 11, 11, I'm going to affirm the things that I want. But why only wait for those moments? Why not affirm it 
more often. So one of the things I also started to realize was, well, your subconscious mind is basically 95% of your predominant thought patterns. And there's so many videos where we dive deep into the subconscious mind. I'll link a couple below just to get your mind working. But essentially, when you're programmed at a young age, you have certain thought patterns that you choose you sorry you choose technically but you unconsciously choose because when you're young you're not conscious yet you really absorb everything like a sponge and it makes you filter your reality in a certain way you literally scan delete and distort information based on those subconscious filters and what happens is that you have this repetitive cycle of thoughts of feelings and essentially then the way you act so repetition is very essential in your day-to-day -day life. So whatever you repeat, you manifest. And again, this is why hypnosis like is very powerful. We talked about this also. There's a whole video that I did of how to hypnotize yourself to manifest anything because within hypnosis, when you plant those seeds in your subconscious thoughts, those thoughts repeat and repeat and repeat. And then I thought to myself, well, that's great, but what if I also consciously chose to repeat certain affirmations? Because if you are not used to certain things in your life and you know they're meant for you, then affirming them more often than not will really support you. If you saturate your mind and you continue to affirm what it is that you desire, you will start scanning, deleting, and distorting information accordingly to allow you to magnetize better opportunities. You will consciously awaken to different thoughts and different things that are gonna put you on that path. And it's funny because I heard this one affirmation from a coach. I'm not gonna name her because she is so anti-manifestation. She gave me this one affirmation that completely altered my trajectory with my manifestations. And it's like, and she said, instead of saying, I have, for instance, I have $100,000 or I have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube or I have this or I have that. She's like, say I am celebrating it. And for some reason, that really resonated with me. When I started saying I am celebrating 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, it just did something for me. So I noticed that I began to affirm this continuously, like every day, every night, throughout the day. Without even trying, I started robotically affirming. And then the whole process of me consciously robotically affirming started to come into the mix because I started to see way better results on my YouTube channel. I'm like, ever since I am affirming this day in and day out, I see my YouTube channel picking up. My first micro viral video came after I began to affirm that I am celebrating 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And this was like a nothing video in the sense that I had zero expectations that this video would actually perform. So that was also a clue for me that, hey, there is something to this robotic affirming. Something that also really helped this process of robotic affirming is that I realized at some point, I don't have to always feel high vibe as I'm doing it. Like sometimes, like I said, like I'm washing the dishes, I'm affirming. I'm not like, oh my gosh, 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know, I just did that. I'm literally like washing the dishes. I'm like, I'm celebrating 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm so happy I have 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I'm just literally robotically doing it as I'm doing this mindless activity. And that for me goes hand in hand with one of the teachings of Neville Goddard because you know, the whole book, Feeling is the Secret. For the longest time, I believed I have to feel it. If I don't connect with my affirmations, it means nothing. But that in itself, I realized is, is a lie. <laughs> You want to feel the faith that you have as you're robotically affirming. Like, I know this is meant for me. I know that having a public platform is meant for me. Sometimes I have doubts. Sometimes I suffer from failure. And sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like, this is taking so long. But I don't need to pay attention to those thoughts. I don't need to, and I don't need to stop affirming when I feel a little low. That in itself really helped me just get out of that. And over the process of repeating these affirmations in a literally in a robotic way, 
it's actually changed my vibration. It's made my doubts a lot less loud. Another thing that has really radically supported my robotic affirmation process is sometimes just being present and not affirming or thinking about anything. Now, this can be a challenge for some of you because this has come from years of mindfulness practices and you really especially like when I think of the Reiki training, that was so potent for that, but like really getting into a place where I am being present in whatever it is that I'm doing. So I usually do this when I'm having an activity with my family. So if my husband and I are taking our little dog for a walk, I will just be on that walk with them, throwing the ball, looking at her, catching the ball, smiling at my husband, holding hands, looking at the sunlight, looking at the trees. And that in itself, I, I don't know, if maybe some of you are like, what does this have to do with robotic affirmations? But I feel like having a presence in life is so important. And I think that for me, I actually resisted robotic affirming because I felt like it's gonna rob me of life in some ways. And I don't know if anyone relates to that because if you're constantly affirming what you want, you're also in some ways always living in a different like future self state but all of our life happens in the present moment so that's why i strategically choose when i'm going to do my robotic affirmations i do them in the morning when i'm doing tasks like washing the dishes when i'm journaling i also do it when i feel like an overwhelming amount of doubts i'm like i'm just going to robotically affirm my way out of this right now or i'm going to tap on my body i'm going to do a little bit of breath work i'm going to zhuzh it up use the energy up so i feel like that really also helped in the process of manifesting through robotic affirmations really when it comes down to it all right now i want to address for those of you who feel that when you are robotically affirming you are going against god's plan and i want to say i'm one of those people who definitely desires to be attuned to God's plan versus my plan. And there was a picture I put at some point where it's like God's plan, it's like a bouquet of flowers. Your plan is like one rose. Because for me, I've realized that no matter how much I think with my mind, I'm still a human. Like I, I'm a spiritual being in this human body, but I look at life and I'm like, I see certain things, I see certain things in the future of what I desire to bring in, but I'm also very conscious that my thoughts, no matter how unlimited I believe they are, are still limited by my programming. And so I actually spend time daily connecting with God, asking God to change the taste in my mouth change my thought patterns so that I attune to God's plan and so that I surrender my beingness to that. And what I found with robotic affirmations, I use them when I have a level of certainty that this is part of the plan. So it's not that you're doubting God's plan at all. It's not that you're doubting what your destiny is. It's that you are attuning your human mind, your fallible, okay, human mind to be more focused, to be more disciplined, and to be more aligned with God's plan. That's why you will probably never really hear me say, keep robotically affirming that your ex who cheated on you with 10 different people is coming back in your life. Because I genuinely don't believe that, that would be a part of God's plan for you to go seek a narcissist and to suffer and to like blaze through things like that. Like that's just, I'm just not that channel. There are plenty of channels who do it. You don't like it, get out. <laughs> sorry, not sorry at all. But that's just one example of sometimes people using like robotic affirmations that I find is just very ego based. And, and you can do it all from the ego. You can manifest your entire life from your ego. But for me, I use manifestation to attune my mind, to attune my energy, to live my most divine life which is that one that is leading me down the path of God's plan. If that makes any sense, some of y'all are probably gonna think I'm freaking crazy at this point. That's me, okay. Let me know what you thought of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm gonna put a couple of videos for you to check out below that will support you in this process. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.